Thank you for joining today's quick hit on creating and associating a Cisco.com or CCO account. We're going to learn three things today. First, how to create a Cisco.com account, otherwise known as a CCO account. Second, how to associate that account to a partner so that you have partner level access to Cisco.com. And finally, we'll talk about adding service contracts and allowing you to download off of Cisco.com software for either your customers or for lab usage. Now you can click on any one of these three areas to skip directly to that point in the video, or you can also look at the times below to fast forward to that point in the video. So let's get started. All right, so to start off, we're gonna go to cisco.com, and we're gonna look up here in the right-hand corner, and we're gonna go ahead and click on register to create a CCO username and password. So on the registration page, you're just gonna fill this out just like any other form on the internet. A couple pointers here, your email address, we definitely recommend you use a corporate email address here. This will make it really easy in the future to ensure you're associated to your partner. As well as uh, the passwords down here, you're going to need a strong password uh, to be able to fill this out. When you're done filling out the entire form, just go down and click the submit button. After you submit it, you're going to need to go ahead and verify your email address at which point you can move on to the next step which is associating your user account with your partner. Alright, so in step one we created a Cisco.com or CCO account. Now we need to associate this to our partner so that we have partner level access to the Cisco.com site. So to start off here, up in the uh, URL bar here, we're going to go from Cisco.com to Cisco.com slash go slash PSS, and this stands for Partner Self Service. Uh, all these links, again, will be down in the description field down below the video. So we pull this up. We're going to fill in our uh, information here that we just created and go to login. As soon as you log in to Partner Self Service, you'll see right away that you are not associated with any Cisco partner company. So we're going to need to change that. We're going to associate your user ID with a Cisco partner. So once this pop-up comes up, we're going to go ahead and click on a country. In my case, we're going to use the United States. And company name, I'm just going to go ahead and use one of our bigger partners, which is AT&T. And then go ahead and click Next. Right away, you see AT&T pops up. It's a gold partner. That's exactly the one that I want, and it's in the United States. So I'm going to click Next. And in this case, since there are so many different offices for at and I'm going to go ahead and click on View All up here, which is going to bring up all of the offices throughout the United States. Now, there's two ways that you can select this. Number one is through a local office, one that you go to every day, or through the headquarters office. And you always want to default, if you can, to your local office. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick search here for one that's near me, which is in Oakton. And you can see 3033 Chain Ridge Road is here. I'm going to click on that and hit select. And that popped up one final form here we need to fill out. All this form is doing is really asking you for some information to verify that you are in fact an employee of the company that you're wishing to associate to. Once you fill all this out and click submit, it'll be sent to somebody within your own company that will verify that you are in fact an employee of this company. Once it has been verified, and that can take up to 48 hours, you will be sent an email saying you now have full partner level access to Cisco.com and access to areas that guests and visitors of the site do not have access to. And it's time to move on to part three, which is associating a service contract to your profile. This is definitely the trickiest of the three we've talked about so far, but let me explain why it's important. Let's say your customer has a router that they need updated or upgraded software on. In order for you to download that off of Cisco.com, you must have a valid service contract from that customer tied to your profile. And within that valid service contract, that router, that exact router, has to be in there as well for you to be able to download specific software from Cisco.com. So let's get started on this. Right, right now we're on the Cisco homepage. We're going to go up to Account in the upper right-hand corner here and down to the Profile Manager. We're going to log in with our usual credentials here. And that brings up the Cisco.com Profile Manager. So you're going to click here on Additional Access. Now there's several ways that you can add a service contract to your account. The easiest way by far 
is to just click on add a service contract. Now this service contract number you can find uh, in a purchase order, any documentation you have on the customer. If you don't have that handy, another way to do it is to look it up by serial number. And you'll need to just type in a serial number here and submit it and eventually it'll get validated, uh, send you back the contract number and you'll be able to associate that with your account. After you're done with that, you'll be able to download all the software you need for each individual product on this. And that's it for this quick hit on creating and associating a Cisco.com account. Remember that all links are below in the description section. If you have any questions or comments about this video or any other video, please reach out to ciscoquickhit at external.cisco.com. Thank you.